Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be talking about auto hotkeys and how to suspend any program. So hopefully your parents don't see this video because, you know, when you're a kid, you're playing a video game and they're like, hey, you need to pause that video. Well, it's an online game, I can't pause it. Well, unfortunately you can now. I mean, with the online, if it's server-based, maybe not so much, but... I'll just give you an example here in a minute. So it's not too complicated. It's about 37 lines of code here. And basically it uses a bunch of DLL calls. Uh, I'm not really going to go through all these just because I don't claim to be an extra expert on DLL calls. But I have done a video explaining the basis of what you can do with them and stuff. So definitely check out that video. So. Basically, all I'm going to really explain is uh, the first thing we're going to do is an input box here. And it's going to ask you, it's going to save a variable of whatever you do, what game. Please enter a executable name with a file extension. Now, that would be good if you just only want this program to work on one single executable and nowhere else by accident. If you don't care and you just want to be able to use it freely on any program you're currently in, you can just uncomment it this and then delete this line of code. And this will just get whatever active window you have and use that. But I'm going to use the input box just so you can see that. <clears throat> we got our hotkey here. That's just going to be F1. So basically it's going to say if toggle, and it's just using a toggle, like an on and off switch. I've done a video once again on that, so not going too deep into that. But if we turn it on, it's going to jump to the function process suspend, which is just right here. And it's just a few lines of code there using those DLL calls. Uh, if I do it again, and basically I'm saying turn it off, it's going to go to process resume, which is just right here. Basically the exact same code you got up there doing the basically just the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So yeah, we will go ahead and let's launch this. I gotta remember what I called it, so send my program. So in this example, I'm using the video game Valheim. So I'm gonna type in Valheim, if I remember how to spell it. You do need to put that extension in there. So we're going to put .exe because that's what it is. Obviously, if it's something else, you know, change that. I'm going to push OK. And now we're good to go. It's running. It's ready. So I already got Valheim open. I'm just on the character screen here. So as you see, there's a fire here. You know, I can push escape, go back. There's no way to pause this. That fire is always going to be going. But if I push that F1, boom, it just suspended the program. <clears throat> so nothing's going on. It's it's frozen, basically. So the fire stopped there. I'm going to go ahead and push F1 again. And there we go. We're going back to doing that. Now, as far as how this is going to work in different games, I'm not sure uh, if they're server-based. I haven't been able to test that out, really. Uh, you know, you might be hosting a Minecraft server. Sure, the game pauses, but the server's still technically running in the background or if you're remotely connecting. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect that. If you find out, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious on that. I don't really have anything good to test that out with at the moment. Hopefully I can find something here in my Steam library of hundreds of games that would be good for testing something like that out and maybe run my own server. And I'll let you know if nobody else finds out. All right, that was it for this video. If you have any questions about this, want to expand on it, definitely let me know. And if you haven't subscribed so far, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'll always do more video game videos if you guys have any recommendations. And I'll see you guys on the next one.